Hello and welcome to tutorial 158 and a Markplex subscriber asked me how you'd go about calculating the commodity channel index using a price series provided the commodity channel index being CCI and so what I've done is created a uh, an indicator and what that does it plots the CCI calculated using the bars on the chart it also calculates uh, the CCI calculated using a PSP of the same symbol as the chart and it plots them on the chart and you'll see in most cases here they are overlaying the same when they are different it is because the uh, the chart interval is different from the PSP interval. So let's have a look at the program and I'll go through and try and explain how it works. I'll go down to the calculation for the standard commodity channel index and uh, you can find something very similar to this if you look at the CCI function, the commodity channel index function in TradeStation or multi-charts. Incidentally, unfortunately, this program doesn't work in multi-charts because we're using the price series provider. So the calculation is we work out an average of the high-low close over the CCI LEN, and then we work out a, an average deviation. So the first thing we do is we take the absolute value of uh, high plus low plus close for the last several bars counting backwards and each time we deduct the average that is the average for the current bar from that and that gives us the sum of the deviations dev dev plus and then we can uh, create an average of that using dev equals dev over cci len then to finalize the calculation we uh, we say if dev is equal to zero then cci or underscore cci is equal to zero if it's not if a dev is not equal to zero then cci is equal to uh, high plus low plus close of the current bar minus the average of the current bar divided by 0 uh, 0.015 multiplied by dev which is the value we just calculated here and then that is plotted on the chart later on now how do we do the same thing with the psp well this is how i've done it anyway so the first step in using the psp is to set up a psp price series provider and i did that in this case by using the toolbox i went to toolbox and i double clicked on price series provider that created the price series provider I then went to properties and made a few changes to it. So um, some of these I left as the default values. I made uh, load false. I think it may already be false according to the default. I changed the name. A symbol I made equal to symbol so that the price series provider would be the same symbol as the chart. In terms of the interval, I made this chart type bars, interval type minutes, and then I created by double clicking here uh, a input for the interval span. And when I did that, that word appeared in my program to the left. Uh, volume info, ticks info, uh, default uh, false. And then I changed use natural hours to true. So that did some of the setup for the PSP, but what I did was I did a little bit of final setup in the one statement. And what I did here is I set the PSP.range.first date equal to bar date time. That makes sure that the, the program loads PSP is going right back to the beginning of the chart. What I also did was detected what the time zone of the chart is and uh, I'd set the PSP accordingly and uh, it's a good piece of code to uh, have available to copy and paste there and then finally I loaded the PSP and incidentally to, to, uh, to use this code you will also need to declare this namespace using EL system. So that is the uh, creation of the PSP. Now we can go forward and use it to calculate the CCI. The first thing we need to do uh, in this program is check that the uh, the PSP count is greater or equal to CCI len. In other words, if we don't do that, we'll 
possibly going to get situations where the program tries to use PSP value that is not there and then that will generate an error. So we need to calculate the average and what I decided to do here is just count back for the number of bars and uh, for each bar going backwards for the PSP just add up the high, the low and the close, sum all that information and then take an average of it over the CCI len. That is equivalent to this part of the program. Having done that, we then need to calculate the deviations. Incidentally, note that I uh, set AV2 to zero and I'm setting DEV2 to zero here just to reset those before doing the calculation. So for the deviation, this is actually uh, very similar to the first part of the program where we had the, uh, the deviation calculated just by going back and saying uh, DEV plus APPS value uh, counter etc except this time we are have we are um, adding the PSP high PSP dot high PSP dot low PSP dot close using the same bracket uh, way of doing things as we do for the the bar charts uh, for the chart data rather and then we take um, we average the deviation using dev2 divided by CCI loan exactly as we did before and then again, very similarly, if dev2 is equal to zero, underscore cci2 is equal to zero, else uh, it is equal to the sum of the current prices, in other words, uh, uh, or the sum of the, the, uh, the current high plus low plus close, in other words, psp.high uh, bracket, square bracket, zero, etc., minus average two, which is minus the average of the current bar, high plus low plus plus close divided by three. And uh, we divide up by 0 0.015 multiplied by dev2, which is what we've calculated here. And then both of these are plotted. And then uh, for one of the uh, one of the charts, just to, to show this is working correctly, what I also did is I calculated the CCI using the CCI function. In fact, let's just uh, uncomment that and we'll see uh, if it's overlaid on any of the charts. Well, we're not seeing this, but uh, if we would, for, for example, just to go here and set the, uh, click on the indicator, which is the thing we're working on at the moment. And we go to um, color style and the uh, plot three, that is the uh, the one that we're, that we're cal uh, calculating using the standard function. And I'm gonna change that color to orange and then you should see that appearing under the other two so you can see that they're uh, somewhat in line and if you actually go through and scroll over the the bars you'll see that they are the same values now there are some differences occasionally because this the uh, PSP and the bars are not synchronized perfectly there is there occasionally are some differences where uh, the a tick will find itself in a different bar from the equivalent bar on the chart. Anyway, uh, hopefully uh, this program might be useful for you. If you're not a subscriber of the YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you are not part of our email list, please join the email list. And also, if uh, you found this video somewhat useful, then please uh, click the, uh, the like underneath it on YouTube. Mm -hmm.